Welcome to Realtor Load ADT with Webforms. This instructional video will walk you through the steps needed to create a transaction kit for your new listing. Prepare your listing forms for upload directly into the Paragon MLS system and load your listing photos. Once uploaded, your listing is placed in a for approval status. Staff will activate the listing once the signed contracts have been submitted by your broker. Let's get started. First, you'll need to create a transaction kit with a multiple listing contract and, depending on the listing, either an MLS link residential data input form or an MLS link land only data input form. Start by clicking on the Create New Transaction Kit button. Enter a transaction kit name and click Next. On the Select Forms screen, locate the multiple listing contract and the MLS link residential data input form. Add them to your kit. Click Create and Save Transaction Kit. The first form in the kit should automatically open. Fill out the multiple listing contract in the data input form. In order to upload a listing through ADT, your listing must have a valid PID number. If the property is a manufactured home on a pad or an unregistered property, then you will be able to add a temporary PID at a later point. This listing is a manufactured home on a pad, so we are going to leave the PID field blank. Click Cancel on the warning to continue. Make sure all of the required and applicable fields on the data input forms are filled in. Click Go Home and Save. Select the kit and click the Upload to MLS button. If there is no PID detected, then you will be prompted to either edit the multiple listing contract and add a PID, or use a temporary PID. We'll use a temporary PID for this kit. The generated PID is automatically added to our kit. No copy and paste required. Click to continue. If the PID is missing information from the tax record database, or if you used a generated PID, then you will have to select the area, subarea, jurisdiction, and municipality of the listing. Click Continue. If a problem is detected with the kit that's preventing the listing from being uploaded, then Webforms will display the error messages received from Paragon. Make note of the errors listed on the page. Return to the kit and edit the forms to make the necessary changes. When you're done with your changes, click Go Home and Save. Select the kit and click the Upload to MLS button once again. If no new errors are detected, the Confirm Details page will be displayed. Verify that the information shown on the Confirm Details page is correct. If any changes are needed, you can click on the name of the field and the form containing the field will open. When you're done, click Upload to MLS. At this point, your listing has been uploaded to Paragon and you will be given an MLS number for your listing. Click Continue. You are now given the option to upload photos to the listing right away. You can also add photos at a later time in Paragon if you prefer. Click the Add Images button. Now locate your images. They can be JPEG, GIF, or PNG files. You can select up to 20 images at a time and then click Open. If the images pass validation, thumbnails of the images will be visible. If they are not, then check the file extensions of the images. Click and drag to reorder the images. When done, click Update MLS listing and the selected images will be added to your listing. You should now receive a message that you have completed the upload to MLS process. Click Finish to return to the main page of Webforms. To review your Realtor Load ADT listings, click on the Tools tab. Click on the link for Submitted Listings. Here you can see all of the ADT listings that you have been uploaded through your account and their current status. You should also receive an email with a confirmation of your ADT upload. Once you've received the confirmation email, do a final check of the Paragon listing for accuracy. If you have Agent Modify access on Paragon, you can make changes to any non-contractual fields. You can also use the Correction button in Paragon to send an email to the board to request a change in the listing. And that's how to upload listings through ADT and Webforms. If you encounter any issues or have a question, contact the FERAB Help Desk at 604-930-7626. Thank you for watching.